In the heart of the multi-ethnic lands of the Indus, a tapestry of myths weaves a tale of horror and fright. Today, we discuss the demons of sleep and death. In the dark corners of Sindhi folklore, the Asuras and the Rakshasas reign as a terrifying duo, malevolent and powerful. They feed on the flesh of fresh corpses and their thirst for blood is simply never quenched. In Punjabi folklore, the Betal is a sinister entity with the eerie power to possess the lifeless. It thrives on the essence of the deceased, a chilling notion that sends shivers down the spine. Young men who die unnatural deaths and do not receive proper burials are vulnerable to turn into one. Gorgakh, a name which resounds with horror, it's a demonic spirit from Pashto folklore and it ruthlessly digs through graves and feasts upon the flesh of the dead. To protect against the Gorgakh, many graves are lined with bricks or stones, a practice common across various parts of Khabar Pakhtunkhwa, Gowanko, Khapasa, and the Khapisi. In Balochi, Bravi, Pashto, and Chitrali lore, respectively, are whispered names that invoke dread. They are the weavers of your night terrors, and they delight in crafting your nightmares, which leave you fearful of falling asleep. To evade their clutches, one must never sleep straight, for that is where all of these horrors take shape. The Preeta, ghosts in limbo, ghosts of the unborn fetus, or those who have lived with disabilities or deformities. It is neither evil nor kind. Its existence on the fringes of the supernatural world is a lot similar to how these people exist in real life. The Pisacha. In Sin and Punjab, it's an evil spirit which targets young girls, coming of age, and young men of marriageable age. It is the soul of those who knew no peace in this world and shall know none in the next. Liars, gamblers, murderers, drunkards. The Shishika lingers in moonlit graveyards. In Moman, it is believed that men who neglect their prayers and women who remain unclean for four months or more than that shall transform into this demon, becoming specters which haunt sacred grounds. Bhau, a name we're all familiar with. He lives with the Churels and the Jinns, and he always has a big bag with him, and children are told to sleep on time, especially if they have school tomorrow, or it will come and take you away. These tales do not only represent our fears, they also point towards the complex cultural and religious belief systems underlying the development of oral tradition. Besides being a source for anthropological research, they can also serve as an inspiration for the next Halloween party you attend.